G'day ladies and gentlemen, Biden here and welcome to this how to install video for Skytable and Google Exchange and also the mods I use in my version of the Skytable world. Uh, yeah, so I've been getting a heap of people asking how you do this, so that's why I'm kicking out this video. But on a quick note, I have already done a video of how you install Skytable, you know, the map and get it working with Equivalent Exchange, but there's no mods. So if you don't want to use any mods and you don't want to watch this video, you can pretty much stop right now, but you can go watch that other video and that will show you how you do it without all the mods. Okay, just want to get that out of the way first. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, well, one, he does give you a link to actually download Equivalent Exchange, so you can get that from there. I'm not going to show you here, but you can do it yourself. You should see a download link. Um, it should be just here, but this is actually for the hardcore version. If you want the soft core version, simply go down to you see other maps, click on the show to open the spoiler, and there's the hardcore version. Oh, sorry, not hardcore, the soft core version right there. So you can download it there. It's an AdFly link, but you'll live, you'll get through it. <laughs> <coughs> okay, pardon me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat, I think. Okay, so once you've got them downloaded, well, that's the map and equivalent exchange. That's pretty cool. But I'm not going to show you. You know where all the things are downloaded. I'll go show you what the mods are and I will provide for links for everything you need in the description So you'll be fine on that front. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that now So the first thing I want to do is of course the good old percent app data whoops if I can spell it properly I always spell it wrong, you know me And you should see your .minecraft again. This is a total fresh Minecraft folder. So yeah If you're doing it with any any other mods on you can probably guarantee you will get conflict of IDs. so um, okay, so first thing you want to do is again open up your bin and you should see your Minecraft or Minecraft.jar if you have file extensions shown and just right click on it, open with your archiver and bam, away you go. Just, just close that if it does pop up. Okay, now first thing you want to do is you can see I've actually got all the mods that are required in three different files. They're the jar, things, one, all the files that go into your uh, jar, all the mods that go into your mods folder and of course there is an other. Now, I'll get to that one in a minute, but all what we want to deal with first is, of course, the meta inf, which is inside your Minecraft.jar, and you want to delete it. Gone. Always do that first thing. Key point every time. Get in the habit of doing that straight away as soon as you open up your Minecraft.jar and you're set. Okay, so in this case, I've got everything that goes in my jar in a, in, in a folder. I'm going to open up that, which I've obviously just done. And now let's start installing these few mods here. First one I want to install is Mod Loader. Cool. Simply close that when it pops up and just simply select all the files in the mod, mod loader zip and drag them into your minecraft.jar and click OK if that pops up. Okay, go back. Next one is audio mod. I think this one's kind of optional audio mod, but just chuck it in anyway. It doesn't hurt. And just drop again, drop that into your uh, minecraft.jar. Next one is Minecraft is Minecraft Forge. And just simply select all those files and Drop into your Minecraft Dodger. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That's all this bit is. Okay. Next thing is your Code Chicken Core client. Now, I've just clicked on that so it highlights so you can actually read it, but whatever. Uh, some people may actually know what that used to actually go into your mods folder, but I think it's been a bit of an issue now. So it actually now goes into your Minecraft.jar, but eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just simply select it and drag into your Minecraft.jar. And, of course, the final but not least is your... Uh, you're not enough items, any eye. Just simply click, open that, select all the items, and drag into your Minecraft Dodger. Sweet. Okay, so now we can actually close that and close the jar fo the folder where all those mods were. And we can also close the Minecraft Dodger because we no longer need it. Cool. So now we get back to your, go back to your uh, .minecraft folder and just simply right click and then create a new folder and call it mods, M O D S. Sweet. Okay, now these are all the mods in here. Because on the desktop I've got a mod folder. These are all the mods that go into your mods folder. And I've got Ree's minimap, or some say Ray, but I believe it's actually pronounced Ree, but whatever. Buildcraft, there's all the different sections of Buildcraft I've got. You can select and choose which ones you want, but just for argument's sake, I threw them in because I can. End of storage, which we are going to have an issue with, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, forestry, industrial craft, all the red power, and of course, tree capitator. Cool. So all you gotta do is simply select all them and just drag them into your mods folder. Oops, just open up that and then they will actually, I'm just gonna quickly just, uh, you don't have to do this, I'm just doing this because I didn't mean to drag them all out of there. Just want that as a backed up copy. Okay, 
So now we can actually uh, close the mods folder from what I've got on my desktop. And we go back to your .minecraft folder. All right, so now I've got another folder here, which is called Other. Now what this one has is the equivalent exchange. Now this one, although it's a zip file, unlike the others which get dragged into your mods folder, this one does not. What you want to do is you want to open up the zip and you should see two folders called uh, mods and resources. What you want to do is you want to select both of them and drag them into your .minecraft folder. Cool. And you should see, so you want to merge, just do uh, yes and yes. And now if you open up the mods folder now, you can see and the um, equivalent exchange mod is installed. So that's how you install it. Do not just drag the uh, end of store, the uh, equivalent exchange zip into the mods folder because it won't install properly and it won't work. Cool. We're flying. Okay, so you can close all that. Close your... Uh, what's that one? Oh, that's the equivalent exchange. And close that. Don't need that. So now we can be back into your .minecraft folder. And what we can do now, you should see a saves folder. We can open up that. Now you get your... Uh, the world, the sky table world, which you've downloaded. And inside that... I hate when it does that. And what you want to do is just get the folder inside the SkyTable softcore and just simply drag that into your saves folder. Uh, but we're not quite done with this just yet. What you want to do is you want to open up the, the folder you've just put in there and you should see at the top one called data. Open up that. Now when you've done that, you should see a, f a file in there called tablet underscore should say zarkep.dat. What you want to do is you want to click on zarkep I don't want to open it. Thank you, Nero. I didn't actually mean to do that. Okay. What you want to do is you want to just right-click on it and get where it says Zarkep and just type in your actual name, your actual in, what you'd use for your in-game name or your account name. So in this case, obviously, for me, it's just PyDude Oz. Okay. Because if you don't do this, the reason why this is actually very important, if you don't, when you load up the game, you will not have you'll you'll have your equivalent. Yeah, everything will still work just fine, but you'll have nothing saved in your um, transmutation table at all. There'll be nothing there, and you'll have no EMC. So you have to do this part. Okay, and that's before you load the world. So, okay, done. We are done, and we are cruising. So now we can actually uh, get back to the Minecraft. Minecraft. And now we'll load up uh, Minecraft to make sure it is still working. That's why I've left that open. Actually, no, we won't be able to load up just yet because we will have an ID conflict, as I mentioned before, with the end of storage mod that we installed. So wait for the Mojang to finish. It will cause an error. If you don't want to put the end of storage in, you don't have to. You just leave it out. Honestly, if you don't want to deal with any ID conflicts. But we'll just scroll down. You should see here slot 241. Okay, because it's already occupied. So now you just close out of that. And it's very, very easy to fix. That's why I wanted to leave it in and show you. So all you got to do is when you get back to your .minecraft folder, open up the config folder, and you should see a file there called ender chest, or at least enderchest.cfg if you've got the file extension on. Just open that with notepad. And you should see here block ID 241. Just simply, the number I use is 211, so 211. And then just click file and save. And done. That's fixed. It. You can probably change the equivalent exchange one, but as you can see, yeah, this is a lot more to it. You know, it's just easier to deal with the, um, the equivalent exchange or industrial craft, I should say. But it's just easy to change the end of chest one. It's just a lot, lot easier. All right. So, okay. Now we're done. Now we'll load up Minecraft again, and this time we will not get an error. I can actually close that because I don't need it anymore. And it will load just fine and dandy. Okay, cool. Single player. And we do have Skyler, but it's got to be converted. Even though it says it does work for 1.2.5, um, they've not actually updated it properly yet because you may have noticed, while that's actually going, I'll bring up this bit here again, it says it's since been changed, you actually now start with 65 EMC worth of items. Blah, blah, blah. It says say it may vary across the map, but uh, you know, if it's been updated, you shouldn't have to be doing this converting the world stuff. So... They obviously haven't updated it just yet. And I have mentioned it on the forum, and they are working on it. So if you do download the map, you may not necessarily get this, but at the moment, it is still happening. So just be aware of that fact. All right. Oh, we have a table. Right-click on it, and look at that. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. How cool is that? So there we go, 33MC. There's the items, and 
That is so cool. And of course, we have the chicken. Woo! So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you actually uh, install the mod. And again, well, sorry, install the map. And again, if this stupid achievement will get off the screen, as you can see, 23 pages worth of stuff there. Bing, bing. There you go. Red power, industrial, you know, well, yeah, red power and build craft. And they're all there. They are all there. Cool. And there's forestry. Neat. There you go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you install it, this map with the mods that I'm using in my world. So go nuts. And hopefully you'll be able to, uh, you know, see you, some of your people do your own worlds. And uh, if you do, don't forget to post a link for it. Because, uh, you know, I like to check out some other people's worlds when they're doing them. And yeah, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was a little bit long in the making, I suppose. But hope we got through it in the end. And so yeah, otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Until next time, keep cool, keep safe. And I'll catch you around. Goodbye.